Hello guys, welcome to this video. Welcome to the channel if you've not been here before. If you enjoy the content, obviously make sure you subscribe and like the video if you enjoy it too. Right now, so today we're on Gran Turismo Sport and we are at Sardegna Road Track B2. It's a bit of a mouthful, um, but it's actually the shortest ever daily race seat on Gran Turismo. <laughs> it's, it's only eight laps long and each lap takes about one minute uh, well, it's under 1 minute 30 per lap, so it's not going to take long at all. We're going to start from near the front of the grid. We've set a qualifying lap because it's a sprint race, basically. No strategy involved, so it's just a flat-out sprint to the line. And we want to start as far up the grid as we can. Okay, then. So it's a rolling start, and we start off in first gear and get quite a lot of wheel spin initially. So be ready for that if you are doing this race in the Scirocco, which we are in. So I think the Scirocco is, is one of the quickest FF cars at the moment. I know a lot of people are not really fans of the FF cars, but to be honest, I don't mind them too much. They do take um, you know, a special kind of driving style. Obviously, if you get on the power too early, you tend to understeer a lot as you get on to the throttle, but they're not too bad. I don't mind them. And in this race, there are a few other cars. You can see, um, I think that Sparks up ahead in the Toyota, and then another Scirocco in the lead, and we've got the Subaru behind us. So this is my first race, having just done the time trial. So I'm still getting used to the fuel and tire wear. And you can see I'm dropping back a little bit here, just where I'm trying to reassess where I need to brake, um, how early I can get on the throttle. And you can see behind us, the Subaru getting a little bit wide there, but He's putting a lot of pressure on us at the moment as we get through the very uh, easy to go wide right hander there. And then coming through here up to the final corner, making sure the car is balanced as we turn in. And then again, trying to get on the power as soon as we can. The Subaru is obviously very, very good with initial acceleration, but you'll see here the power of the, uh, the Scirocco in a straight line he was just able to pull away, he's unable to keep up with us in that slipstream. So turn one is a very, very tricky corner. You kind of have to cut a lot of the corner on the left-hand side there. As you can see, Sparks goes very wide out onto the grass and we kind of follow through a little bit. And then this corner, just lifting off just a little bit. And then you have to brake quite early, but quite gradually for this corner. It kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, turn one and two at Suzuka and then down the hill again braking early because it's a downhill braking zone trying to hit that curb on the inside because that will kind of drag you around the corner and let you get on the power nice and early so you can see we've now dropped the Subaru behind and we have started to catch up to the Toyota ahead so we're getting into the rhythm now in this race and hopefully we can try and push forwards and maybe challenge towards uh, getting a victory but it is only a short race. So jumping forwards then onto the beginning of lap number four, you can see we have got the fastest lap now at this point in the race, making sure we don't run too wide here. And you can see Bobby on the inside there has clipped the grass and kind of just uh, ended up compromising his exit. And both Sparks and myself are able to get that move up the inside there. So having to take a very tight line through this awkward off camber downhill corner and then having to defend and take a very tight line through here which does compromise our exit a little bit and we can see Bobby 23 BG behind us he is going to start getting a bit of a run on us now as we head up the hill he's going to get that toe and you can see he's kind of quite close so we're going to take a middle line going into this long left hander trying to be quite defensive a little bit of a hesitation on the throttle there as we don't want to run off wide into the gravel and then again this is the corner where you've got to be very careful on the throttle because you can run wide very very easily so we are just outside the slipstream range of the car up ahead now so can we get into it on the start finish straight coming out the final corner and we're not quite there so we're about a second high so jumping forwards then on to lap number six and we run very very deep into the downhill corner this is going to give Bobby behind 
a very good chance to overtake us going up the hill into the long left hander at this moment in time I was just kind of overdriving the car a little bit where I was trying to get onto the back of Sparks again but um, we weren't able to so uh, car behind getting a bit of understeer there there's a little bit of contact but nothing too crazy we're side by side as we go into the right hander but I've obviously got the inside line there and oh very very nearly running wide as the car behind goes even wider and very very close to hitting the ball there wow uh, yeah that must have been millimeters away I don't know how he quite managed to avoid the ball there but he did and he survives onto another lap then so around the final corner you can see that battling has lost us quite a bit of time we're nearly two seconds behind the leader now so then we're going to jump forwards ahead once again onto the end of lap number seven just one more lap to go like i said it is a very very short race you can see we're only 10 minutes in so far so we're going to complete the race in under 12 minutes i think so it's more of a, a daily race b plus uh, it's like a daily race b with tire wear on and fuel usage on rather than a, a true daily race c really but you can see as we start the final lap then the car behind is putting us under a lot of pressure at this point so we're definitely not going to be able to challenge for the lead and we just need to see if we can hold on over this final lap and maintain this second place then so is he going to make a move no he's not going to make a move here but we do take a slightly narrow entry into the corner just to be sure he's not quite close enough into this downhill corner and we get a reasonably good exit out of there but you can see in the mirror he's just clipped one wheel on the gravel and that's going to be enough then. He's not going to be able to challenge us as we go up the hill because he's got a poor exit. We're continuing to make the gap bigger. And that just gives us the breathing room we need to finish the lap and finish the race in second place then. That was actually really fun. That was way, way better than I expected it would be. So, yeah, give it a go. Really, really enjoyed that. So there we go then, I was expecting the worst with this one being so short, but it was actually really enjoyable. The only downside is that you have to wait quite a long time until the next Daily C race comes along. And, you know, I, I do really enjoy strategy races. So the fact there's no strategy um, option this week is a bit of a letdown. But this race in itself is, is not too bad. So give it a go, let me know what you think. And as always, if you like the video, um, give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already.